Makes you think, doesn't it? Never know when your time's up. Well, it's like that old saying, live every day as though it's the last day on earth. Oh, well, lucky for some, I'm working all the hours God sends. Well, I don't want to diss Mrs H, but maybe this is some sort of a wake-up call, Gran. Time to ring a few changes. No, Gail, David's right. Got to be realistic. I mean, I'm 70 now, and whichever way you look at it, I'm, I'm nearing the end of my life, aren't I? Come on. Well, that sort of talk doesn't do anybody well, any good. Well, it could have been me today, couldn't well, it? Lucky for us, it wasn't. Well, it's going to be at some time, isn't it? And to be honest, I mean, none of my affairs are in order. You've made a will. Yes, you? but that was ages ago. Well, my wife's will was ten years out of date when she died. Total nightmare. And then there's the salon. I mean, do you know, I got such hopes that Sarah was going to take over that, but then that's not going to happen, is it? Why should she get it? She's never done anything. Well, that's what I'm saying, David. Things change, people move on. No, this is the tax situation, of course. I mean, if your assets are worth more than 325 grand, your nearest and dearest will get clobbered. You're worth a mint, aren't you, Lord? Please, can we talk about something else? No, Gail, Mark's right. I haven't even thought about the inheritance tax. I mean, if I was to leave everything to you, you'd probably have to sell the salon to pay the tax. Unbelievable. Oh. All that time and effort you've put into the place, and what for? Nothing. You'd be out of a job and all. Yeah, well, I could easily get another job, but it's Gran I feel sorry for. She should be living it up while she still can. Do you know, David, I think I should sign the salon over to you while I'm still here. Hmm? Problem solved. <laughs> oh, do you know, Mrs Hargreaves has got two sons. I'm wondering if I should go around there and see and tell them how she went. No. Did you take a rollers out? Yes, I did. Nice work, Grant. Ever the professional. Um, I was just thinking about what you said earlier. Oh, well done, David. It's taken you all of six minutes. But can we please have no more talk about death than money? I'm losing the will to live here. Did you mean what you said about signing the salon order to me? Yes, of course I did. Oh, come on. You're passionate about the business. You work hard. Do it yourself, Gail. It's fine. Oh, David, I know you've had your difficulties in the past, but this could give you something positive to focus on. And it could provide a very comfortable future for you and your family, if you ever have one. <laughs> I'm going to be his family. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'll um, go and see the solicitor this week. I mean, there's no point in waiting, is there? Thanks. That is just amazing. Oh, let's crack open the champagne. Look, you get Pomery in here. Oh, let's go and champ. So I'll do it properly. Do you mind? No, go on, you go on, but don't be late because you're working in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you should have waited. Oh, okay, dear, what's the point? I can't take it with me. <laughs> This is it. You and me are going to be quids in. Uh, I think you'll find she's leaving the lot to me. I didn't hear your name mentioned in there. Yeah, but we're getting wed. What's yours is mine. You tried to marry me off to somebody else this morning. I wonder how much it's worth. I don't know. How much is it bringing a week? Well, I don't know that either, but I'm going to find out. I am going to make the most brilliant boss. You, coffee, now. Loving it. <laughs> As soon as your grandson's on the dot, we're going to get in there and sort that place out. Yeah, too, right? And blow it up, start again. <sighs> Black leather, chrome, neon. Yeah, and that's just the new uniforms. <laughs> I love it when I get what I want. So do I. <laughs> do that boss thing again. <laughs> you, get home now. You are so going to get it. <laughs> it's my day off. I might join you. Get that, David, will you? Yellow. Hi, Gran. Today? Yeah, I think I could sign for it. For the salon? When? What time? Um, what time do you want me to come in? All right, I'll, I'll see you then. Take it easy, Gran. <coughs> she wants me to come in this afternoon because the paperwork is being prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to want to hear We it? are. <laughs> what? Well, that is very foolish of her. I hope she's going to pay you back. Fat chance. Even David was embarrassed, and that's saying something. She came sauntering down the stairs this morning like Barbara Stanley. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to get used to her because nothing is gonna change his mind. And then you phoned. 
should have seen her ears prick up at the thought of this place. Is that what's worrying you? When he puts pen to paper, it's theirs. Not until I die. You're kidding yourself. No, I'll still be the boss. Do you know, I'm going to be the owner in everything but name. I don't trust her, ma'am. I don't think she cares a jot about David, and I certainly don't think she cares about you. Sweetheart, if it's gold digging she's in it for, she's picked the wrong family. The thought of her swanning in here and taking what's rightly David's and what's rightly yours, I mean, she could divorce him in no time at all and walk away with half of this. Gail, just let them get married first before you go getting them divorced. I don't like her, ma'am. I tell. No. She's a work-shy thief. And if I were you, I'd think on about all this. I'd call the whole thing off. Not interrupting, am I? David. Brought my own pen. Left her at home, have you? You know, just when things are working out for me, out comes the wrecking ball. Nonsense. I can have his bags packed in 20 minutes if that's how you feel. Might be better all round. Don't be ridiculous. Because if I had to choose between you two and my wife... Do you know? It's no wonder Sarah got out when she did, Mother, because you are poisonous. You drive everybody to the edge. Is it any wonder some of them jump off? David! David! Is your mum not here? Yeah, if she were, I wouldn't be. See ya. Oh, David, don't be childish. Oh, and what's the grown-upish response, then? Hear you two slagging off Kylie and Duno? Just walked in on a bit of a bitch and a moon. Yeah, I know. And you were the moon. Are we going to have a conversation or are you just going to be smart? I am marrying Kylie and there's nothing you and her can do about it. I know, David. And your mum knows, too. She's just letting off steam. She worries about you because she loves you. Well, she's a control freak. Oh. And she's wasting her breath because by the weekend, Kylie will be Kylie Platt. End of. Yes, and how are you planning to support the new Mrs Platt if you're going to walk out on a good job? Oh, didn't my mum tell you? We're going to smash his way into the salon, poison you, chop you up into little bits and then bury you under floorboard. Your mum just worries and about we'll you marrying over. too soon because you barely know each other. Do you think we other? should change the name to the late Audrey's or just David and Kylie's? Oh, do you know? I thought you had matured into a sensible, dependable young man. Somebody that I really wanted to leave the salon to one day. Someone I could trust. I am? Yes, well, you're showing precious little like that now. You're looking like a sulky, spoiled brat who can't even have a civil conversation with his gran. Oh, like that would make any difference? Like you'd know that. Oh, would it, though? Well, you won't find out unless you sit down and talk to me properly. See, I know what my mum sees when she looks at Kyla. What's that? What she's been, not what she is now. She's had a really tough life, gran. You know, really bonkers. Like most people would be nasty and bitter, but she, she's got this mad sense of humour, you know? Like nothing can knock her over. You know, David, there's more to making a life with someone than laughing. Yeah, I know. I'm not stupid. Whatever my mum says. But you know what the thing is, yeah, that really got me? What? How she brings the whole salon thing into it. And, like, tries to poison you against Kylie. And what's Kylie got to do with the salon anyway? It's not like we're signing it over properly. It won't really be mine. No, not till I die or I'm ready to retire. Well, exactly. Mm. And let's face it, I mean, retirement's a dirty word and you're going to live forever. Oh, I'm not. Well, you better have. But I did like the idea that there's a piece of paper somewhere that says I've got a stake in it. You know, it made me look at it different. Like how all those bricks and somewhere my name's scratched on them all. Well, they are. Mind you, the salon's going to be yours, whether I sign out now or not. Well, I wouldn't want it now, anyway. I wouldn't know where to start. David, come here. Mm. <sighs> Look, we both know I'm not going to live forever. And if you've got a fighting chance of making this salon work on your own, then you can do without having a huge inheritance bill. So, this is the point of that. I'll not let you down. I hope not. Ooh, is this what it looks like? <laughs> We're getting the salon. Well, one day, yeah, if this pen ever starts working. Oh. Come here. Oh. Come on, pop print. <laughs> right. Oh, I say this is engraved. Um, Betty Williams. Yeah, from a charity shop. Rover's better. Is it? Oh, no. Hang on a minute. I worked that one from the charity shop. I found it on the street. Is she really Betty Williams? I'll get it back to her. 
Cheers with beers! You'll not regret this, Gran. I'm sure I won't. The salon flat and all. Oh, no, I was moving us out. Where to? Anywhere. Well, steady. How much rent would that mean? Ooh. We will be skint until we start turning a profit over in the salon. Yeah, which is all grand's until she retires. I don't really drink beer, sweetheart. Always toast good days with something fizzy. It's the law. Yeah, don't, don't you know Carly's law, Dre? Uh, no, strangely. <laughs> uh, no. Go on, it won't kill oh. you. Oh. Right. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a long life. <laughs> and a successful business. Yeah. Oh, could I not have a glass, please, Carly? <laughs> I guess we'll need two. Two oh. what? Glasses for fizzy. <laughs> oh, ma'am. I'll let the salon owner hold him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Help her. Don't start, Gail, because it's done and that's an end to it. Are these the only copies? Yes, and I'm going to send this one to my solicitor today. No, ma'am, please, do not. Oh, just come on, Carly, just I'm don't... not listening to this. It's signed, Gail. Accept it. Do you want this? Go on, open it. No, come on. You'll regret this, I just know. Well, then you'll enjoy saying I told you so. I want to be right, ma'am. I want you to keep what's yours. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 